Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. This is part 2 on nanomaterial and application DSCA2 paper for semester 6 solution of question on 2022. Today, we want to discuss question number 2 of A to E. You can see the question paper, question number 1 already discussed in part 1. Today, you want to discuss this question number 2. And in upcoming session, we will be covered up question number 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 8 also. So let's start. First question says briefly describe the chemical vapor deposition process for synthesis of nanomaterial. Chemical vapor deposition that is CVD uh, actually a bottom up approach. Bottom up approach means the small atoms are accumulated and form a nanomaterial. This is the bottom up approach. And this operation is that if there is a chamber that is the uh, made by stainless steel or quartz crystal like that. And if you vacuum the system with the pump uh, diffusion or thermomolecular pump backed by the uh, rotary pump and we need to vacuum because the air molecules act as an impurity. So we need to first vacuum then we inject the gas which are required wants to made the thin flame. Suppose you wants to make a thin flame of silicon you need to uh, put the inlet gas as a silent and Picasso gas as a hydrogen as a dilute diluted or picasser gas picasser gas is silent gas and diluted gas is hydrogen gas so inject the hydrogen uh, and silent gas and apply the field are a field within this electrode and make the plasma state and then the silent and hydrogen are decomposed and they are ionized and then these silicons are accumulated silicon atoms are accumulated on the substrate and made the thin flame nano dimensional thin Plane. So such a process this make the nano materials. Okay, so uh, you can read this passage written here all the things which are discussed now. Next thing is what is the effect of size quantization on the emission and absorption spectra of a material? When you reduce the size of the nanoparticles, then the band gap will be increased also. Because in the in the content in the bulk material they are the continuous in the in the bulk material the uh, uh, bands are continuous conduction band and valence band are continuous but in case of the uh, quantum dot the bands converted into levels energy levels and these levels are separated the separation between these two levels also increases so the band gap also increases since the emission and absorption spectra also change the wavelength also change that's why the color will be changed for the uh, reduction of the size of the nanoparticle so you can see this uh, expression of the nanoparticle which are uh, if uh, increase the r the energy will be reduced is like that or increase reduce the uh, radius the band gap also increases so these are the nature of this curve next question compare the SEM scanning electron microscope and the TEM transmission electron microscope for the study of surface of thin flame with this description of operational difference also state the effectively the techniques for study distribution of the nanoparticle within the SEM the uh, and, uh, and TEM there are electron gun which actually detect the samples here we cannot use the optical lights we need to use electron or the x-ray because of the comparability of the wavelength so these electrons uh, coming from the electron current are attracted towards the anode then are aligned by the electromagnetic lens in both case then here for ACM the scanning coil actually used to scan the point of, of the sample if you rotate this scanning coil the point of scanning of the sample will be changed and here the sample here you can see the sample in the, in this position in the 10th sample at that position and here the backscatter electron from the sample are collected by this uh, lens and then detected and then imaged into monitor here the electromagnetic lens converge and the, from the image here so in case of tm the uh, electron ray electron gun electron passes through the sample here the electron are back scattered electron are make the images so this is the basic operational difference between them which are written here 
and the uh, another important point here we need to um, we need to know we need to arrange the special sample preparation in case of TEM because the sample thickness must be lower such so that it can transmit the electron can transmit to uh, the sample but here the we did not uh, any constant of the thickness of the sample in case of HCM because this is a surface phenomena but it is it is go through the sample okay so for TM you need to take care about the sample preparation uh, actually the sample as PPR uh, using a carbon coated uh, copper grid holder where the sample prepared with a 30 nanometer thickness minimum lower than and for effectiveness uh, for study of nanomaterial distribution in a large scale you need to uh, measure in ACM but in a zoomed case or the in in a depth within the material the distribution can be obtained by the TEM so for TEM is uh, higher uh, efficiently for the closed view of the sample compared to ACM but uh, in a long range the distribution of a large uh, sized material for long range distribution you need to use the SEM instead of TEM okay so these are the basic difference next question says so that the quantized conductivity in 1D channel that is uh, nano wire in nano rod etc the quantized conductivity will be 2 square by h so if you um, consider the density of state which is E by HV uh, 2 by HV 2 is for spin and H is Planck constant, V is the velocity. The voltage is minus mu1 minus mu2 by E voltage difference there. So current uh, density will be like that minus EV voltage difference and that one. Put this value of dn epsilon, will be get this one. So quantized conductivity is J by E is the voltage uh, uh, here for unit distance. So if you put this value, you will obtain this expression easily. Next question says, why are case selection rule relaxed in nano system? Case selection rule means the when the uh, uh, electrons jump from higher energy state to lower energy state, it's preferred to jump at the same k value. In case of, uh, this is a direct band material, you know this is a direct band material and this is the indirect band. Indirect band. So in case of direct band material, the uh, electron jump from the conduction band to valence band at the same k value. But in case of indirect band gamma, they are it's not same k value. That's why it's uh, release some phonon and then make same k value. And after that, it's a uh, radiate phonon. Okay. So you can see that is. You can see the difference uh, for direct and indirect band gamma. But actually, the tra final transition will be same k value. This is a case selection. But in case of nano system, this uh, case selection are released because these conduction bands are converted into the uh, into the into the levels like that. In the first question, we say that this is a converted into levels. So bands are converted into levels. That's why this uh, selection uh, relaxed and the probability of the electron transition also reduced in case of the uh, nano sized material because the band gap also increased the band gap increased so the transition probability also reduced the probability of electron transition reduced because of because of increasing band gap increasing band gap so that's it for today we are going to discuss in the next question in the next video this is all about me this is my contact this is this is my youtube channel it is so take care we'll meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you